you, you, you all develop games across all the platforms, you know, including Java, uh, which is the dominant one today. And you know, uh, you know, is this all these numbers certainly very relevant for for Java as well? Yes. Um, I mean, when talking about competition and brands, uh, I would say that uh, what is key for the end user concerning brands is that they very well perceive how you can be tricked by a brand. I mean, of course, there are brands on the market with good quality adaptation, so first thing. And we have seen in the past few years that when adapting a good brand with a bad quality game, you actually win nothing. So uh, this is, a, this is a, a general trend. Concerning the, uh, your first question on the, uh, I would say, the type of uh, users, the segments, what we see uh, today is that it's really uh, massive, and um, and I think Nintendo is uh, is quite uh, uh, responsible for that. Is that it's no more something related to only the youngest. But uh, I was at Games Convention at Leipzig uh, last <coughs> week, and uh, they were presenting uh, the Nintendo uh, Fitness uh, new game, so you can do fitness uh, with your console. And uh, you can brain, you can uh, you can uh, challenge your brain on uh, with uh, a mobile phone as well. And we see that is a big trend, which is really pushing you um, into something that is uh, not only I would say uh, skills, uh, game space on skills, but also on the, on the training yourself um, in order to improve yourself continuously. So, uh, for example, we've released a game called uh, My English Trainer, and uh, the idea is to, to have a, a fun and everyday lesson of English to, uh, to be uh, fluent after a certain time uh, in English. And I think that's, that's being trained today, which really is, uh, is key in, in this market. But, yeah, that's about it. In any case, it's, it's, an, it's part of entertainment. So, whether you spend time going to the movies, or watching TV, listening to the radio, it's all part of the thing. Well. Don't forget too that um, the if we look at the console gaming market, you know, contrary to popular perception that these may be just for kids, uh, if you look at things like the Xbox and, and and PlayStation, actually the bulk of the users are young professionals, so to speak. And I emphasize the word professional there. I mean, granted, sure, it's still maybe in the age range of 20, in the 20s and in the 30s, but these are working adults that you know certainly uh, do have day jobs, but uh, they are still very passionate about playing the games as well. I, I think one thing we 